Yo, what's going on? My name is Chase. You're now tuning in to my YouTube channel, which showcases my life, the things I'm passionate about, what Auction has to offer. If you haven't already, make sure you click that subscribe button so you can be a part of the driver squad. Make sure you like this video because if you didn't know, once you like this video, you let everybody know on YouTube that this channel is valuable. Share this video with your friends and family members and let them know that Chase West is popping. Let's get into today's video. Nah, for real. I pull up no star for real. I hop in the whip and take off, you know, my mom. Driver Squad, what's going on? Chase White back with another video. Today's video is going to be going over some dividends, some ETFs, and letting y'all know what my future plans are. But before we get into some stocks, if you want to learn more about how to invest $50, sharing it with your friends and family, and watching it grow to $8,140, Hit me up on Instagram in the description down below and say, Chase, I would like to learn or know more about the, the smart $50 money matrix system. This, this reach out, I'm gonna give you a link. We will be going live tomorrow. Well, today, Monday at seven o'clock. Uh, so if you, want, if you want all those details, as soon as you watch this video, reach out to me. Or if you watch this video Monday or Tuesday, we're gonna go live again Wednesday or if you see this video later on we're gonna be going live friday at one or saturday at seven so there's plenty opportunities there but let's go in and pick up this phone and put y'all on the screen uh three three two one let's go so as we head over to robin hood let's look at robin hood okay this is my account right now uh this is everything for friday uh everything is on the downside which is fine i'm focused on long term i believe in these stocks that i'm invested in and we just gonna let it work and let it do what it do um but let's go to a stock that or an etf that i, I i've been looking for to invest in uh i didn't mean to put money sign voo vanguard sp 500 this has copy the s p 500 exactly to the t uh the s p 500 is only on weevil for some reason i don't know why but uh let's let's look that up for y'all s p uh here we go so it's it's valued at three thousand three hundred and nineteen dollars right now uh it's not available on Robinhood. I don't know why, but this mimics the S&P 500. So this is something that I'm going to be putting probably just $50 in. I will say I was going to go heavy. I might even do less than $50. I might just do $20. $20 each week and just putting that up and just treating it like a savings account and not even worry about if it's going up, down. Just keep putting $20 in each week and just let my money accumulate. And... I don't know if I want to do that on cash out because I do want to I, I mean I might want to do that on cash out because I also want to uh, let's go to let's go to cash out so I'm so I might want to like uh, even though I'm, I'm gaining money and stuff like that see I had two hundred dollars and I was gonna sell this so, so like I'm up seven cent right I know I was taking this out anyway, but I just wanted to see what I can make. Oh, uh, with this 200, I made seven cents. It charged me a, a penny uh, to take out. Uh, yeah. So they take their fees out. I get my 200 back. They take the other amount of fees. Cool. So in the morning, well today, they'll take all that money back. Oh, uh, okay. These are just some ETF stocks that I already have my money invested in. So I have Vanguard short term corporate bond, Vanguard intermediate term corporate bond, iShares iBox Invest Grade corporate bond ETF, uh, iShares iBox high year corporate bond ETF, um, iShares iBox high year corporate bond ETF. I think I just said that. SPDR Bloomberg Barclays High Yield Bun ETL. So 
If I just one, two, three, four, five, six, if I include another stock, I believe Boo, Boo is on here. Uh, yeah, the Vanguard S&P 500. If I just start keep putting the money there and let uh, cash out keep rolling over, it probably let's just say I do one now. Uh, Two dollars, two, four, six, eight, three. Six divided by twenty is three, so it'll be like three dollars and some. I don't even want to do the math. So just I did that wrong. So three dollars and forty cent, I guess. Three dollars and forty cent, and just let let that go weekly into all those accounts. Even though there will probably be like six transactions at six transactions out of my 25 a day, which would be okay, and I just have to figure out which is my less spending day. Then that's what that's gonna be doing. Uh, also, let's let's go into what some other dividend uh, paying companies. I wonder do they offer that on here? Matter of fact, Google. So let's no, this ain't what I really wanted. I wanted to know all the companies in the S&P 500. This is what I wanted to look at. Right here. So you have 3M, well, all the 500 companies right here. Uh, let's see. Let's go to here. I see if this helps. So you have all these companies just on the S&P 500, right? Out of all these companies, all these 500 companies, they are all stable, but I don't know if all of them pay dividends. Shout out to Chris, he was looking for some more stocks to get into that pays good dividends. Um, here got all the dividends that the payout is. Let me see. I'm, I'm thinking this this what this number is. I'm gonna read it to see what it says. Wait, I don't know what the wait means. Matter of fact, let's go back. Oh, I know what way it means now. Let's look at Barron's. Let's see what they said. This back in April 20th. So, I guess they don't give me a list. Yes, it do. Okay. So, you have Ecolab, Honeywell International, Caterpillar, Nike, McDonald's. Those are the sustainable ones. The unsustainable ones are these, and there's 40 of them. 
but I'm going to go to the sustainable ones. Home Depot, Walmart, Pepsi. Uh, I'm going to leave this link down below if you want to find out what some good dividends, uh, sustainable ones. You don't really have to worry about them cutting the dividend payout rates and stuff like that. Uh, it ain't too bad. We have like 40 of them. That's sustainable. AT&T is still looking solid. Is AT&T still under $30? AT&T is still up under $30. Uh, AT&T 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 is it's kind of under undervalued. It's closer to 30. This is good. AT&T might be the best stock to get into for dividends, Chris. AT&T will be the best dividend stock to get into. Uh, but like I said with uh, VOO, I'm going to be putting my money in there as well. Uh, probably starting sometime next month. I'm going to be investing in cannabis for, uh, CBD. Uh, what else I'm going to be doing with money? I'm going to be talking more about shoes sneakers and trading cards on the probably it's probably gonna be more so double uploads now now I'm in my focus mind I, I figured out what I want to do how I want to invest the videos tie that in in my day so through the week it's gonna be investing videos Wednesday is gonna be our podcast Friday Saturday Sunday it's gonna be when I do vlogs and anything else or I might include it in a double upload stocks for during the day and then probably one o'clock or later on that night another video might get put up later on that night so I, it might be some double uploads going on but I don't want to take too much of y'all time uh, today is Monday it's the beginning of the, of the work week make sure y'all on stock charts and y'all checking the stocks uh, revise y'all portfolio uh look at keep coming up with a weekly budget uh continue to buy more assets instead of uh liabilities things that you really don't need but you just want uh i'm gonna do the same i'm gonna uh probably do another budget list video so be expect that and i'll be tired so i'm gonna get this video out for y'all and y'all have a great day and chase everybody go to sleep so good night peace